Ladies and gentlemen, I have some news. Probably some of the funniest news that I'm going to do. And um, let me just show you. So GameSpot is a quite large news organization. I'm sure there's an official name for a news organization. Reporting journalism, there we go. GameSpot is a games journalism. Oh my God, I don't even know how to fucking introduce this. GameSpot, they write articles and thingies in the news. They have 4.6 million followers. They're quite well known. I think a lot of people know who they are. They've been around for about 20 years. It's definitely heard of us up there with some of the other people. You might recognize the logo. Um, it gets better. You ready for this? <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online game director outlines PvP plans following backlash to Dev's personal stream. Guys, we've done it. We've made the news. Let's get this juicy gossip. Juicy, juicy. This is actually posted on the 13th of January, so it was five days ago, and I think I'm the first to actually pick up on this. Well, actually, I'm not the first. Fragment Soul linked me in the article, and we laughed, and we're like, wow. But here we go. Essentially, it's covering off the situation. I don't think it's done it an injustice. It's actually done quite well. Um, but yeah, I don't know how this has made it onto GameSpot, but let's carry on. Recent comments made about the state of PP experience in The Elder Scrolls Online on the personal stream of a game's creative director have led to an official statement from developer Zenimax Online outlining steps that are being taken to improve the situation. So this is actually a big organization. This is actually a big news outlet. Well, uh, news outlet. This is a big journalism, game journalism. I don't know what to call these people. I wait, this is, <laughs> this is being brought to the spotlight and even they are saying that the message from Matt was backlash from this. I didn't think this was that bad, but apparently it is. So, the drama stated a few days ago during ESO creator director Richard Lambert's personal Twitch stream. As detailed by massively overpowered... Who the fuck? Oh, look, what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh my god! There's more articles, what is this? Wow! I'm shocked! There's more! Okay, well, we'll stick with this one. Um, so Lambert regularly streams off the clock on his personal account, and his wife, Terry Lambert, who's not Zenimax an online employee, like I said, she's not a dev. She can say what she wants. Also frequently makes appearances. All proceeds from Lambert's stream go towards various charities. I think it's just the one, but sure. Anyway, uh, by the way, if you wondered why this clip blew up, <laughs> maybe it's the linkage that it's got from these other websites. During their discussion about the accessibility, one player asked a question about PvP accessibility in reference to ongoing issues of the ESO PvP modes. Clearly, those two topics are not the same, which caused Terry Lambert, who was running the stream at the given moment, to make crying gestures, say, nice, nice try, try, and state she has no sympathy for PvP because she knows the developers are working on fixing various PvP related problems. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, they're working on that too. Nice try. Oh dear. Um, anyway, it goes on to say, obviously, what happens next. Um, I mean, even the news people are saying lag and technical issues have long plagued ESO PvP. Wow, See? even they know. While the developers have tried various methods to fix the problem over the years, the problem still persists, which goes at least part of the way towards explaining the frustration some players are having with the comments made on stream. This is obviously about the official statement. Um, not really that much, really, but it's kind of funny. It made me giggle, like, <laughs> I don't understand. It, it's just the fact that this made it into the spotlight. Well, there was five comments. Oh, God, my comment section's always gold. I play ESO for PvE, they can get rid of PvE entirely, it wouldn't break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> PvE toxic confirmed? Elder Scrolls Online, I totally forgot that this legacy went back when every developer and their grandma was trying to make their franchise an MMO, whether their customers want them to or not still exist. Oh, that's deep. That's actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. More of the story, don't let your wife mock your paying customers on stream. Or keep your work life separate from your wife life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this article too much. And let's just quickly look at this one. I think these are the guys who reported on the PvP developers. I don't actually know who they are, but I mean, they look professional at least. Oh, hang on. This is kind of funny. Uh, Rich Lambert himself, who literally has a parrot sit on his shoulder during the episode, can be seen in the background shaking his head, clearly knowing that the response was brutally honest, but perhaps a bit lacking in tact for gamers already primed to be salty. I feel attacked. I feel slightly attacked. 
And so they were a massive thread on the official forum and now locked thread on Reddit shows some PvP players took the reply out of its context and distributed it using the moment to bash the Lamberts and the dev team. Well, I mean, they did. Uh, they have promised to fix Cyrano for several years. Let's see what this one's about. Back in 2020. All right, well, right. If you got a quote, a quote from 2015. You still do a rework? <gasps> what is this? Man, even hacks ahead of the time. See, that's good journalism. They don't say, just watch the clip. They say, look around the 30 minute mark to actually get the full context. At one point, the parent even poops on Rich. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to know more. This is all I care about. Fuck everything else. I'm looking for this clip. This is this video is now Richard Lambert gets shit on. Title of my clip. All right, there we go. This video now has a title. Uh. Anyway, look. Um. I, mean, I find it funny, and everyone jumped on this comment as well. They were like, "Oh no, he's been fired or some bullshit." It's just people have breaks. Fucking hell. We're bored of playing the game. We must be sick of fucking streaming it. So. It's funny because people are reading a lot into this at the minute, and I really don't think they should. So, you know, he cancelled the stream and everyone's like, it's the end of the world, oh no. But the one thing that people seem to forget, this is like a huge thing. Oh, shut the fuck up, piano person. I'm not sticking up for him here, but I would just like to point out, this happened 10 days ago, which would have been the 8th, okay? 8th of January. He streamed three more times after the event. I don't think that that phased, honestly. So, it is funny that it made news and they think this was the cause of that message. I don't personally think it was. But if it is, then fuck. I need to get a Reddit account because they apparently listen to Reddit. Uh, should I even look at Reddit? Reddit's toxic. Moderate slash r slash livestream fails. Delete all hateful clips of women. I don't even post on Reddit. Uh, 300 upvotes. Fuck now. It's not even much. I can get more than that. Post a picture of my fucking house or something. What? Anyway, I just want to comment on this. It's sort of an off the cuff video. I don't really plan on this. I just read it and made me laugh. And this is my reaction. Fuck it. If you like it, let me know. Comment below. Six nine likes, and I'll do more stuff like this. I'll throw in some memes and some extra juicy clips to make it a bit more entertaining. I mean, it's quite early in the morning as I'm recording this. So uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Catch the next one. Peace. <laughs> oh, did you really? Exactly, Dan. That's the thing. And I guarantee you this team on any anything. Did she just poop on you? Awesome. Anything that they do like that, that that's probably their biggest concerns is people that are going to exploit it. Yes, she pooped on Rich. <laughs> it's about time.